The Biden regime is in an absolute free fall. In this video, we're going to take a look at the latest poll numbers from all 50 states that show the total collapse of Brandon. We're going to see how Democrats are panicking and stick with me to the very end of this video when I'll show you how the mainstream media is openly admitting that Biden is indeed done. You are not going to want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you. Great to be with you. As always, I am your daily fake news antidote as each and every day I provide patriotic analysis to help you think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Before we begin, gang, I want to meet you all in person. And there's no better time to do that now the next American Freedom Tour stop in Houston, Texas. I am so excited to get out there to the Lone Star State and see all you turly talkers on January 29th. I'll be speaking with Donald Trump Jr., Kaylee McEnany, Dinesh D'Souza, and so many other amazing patriots. And to make it even better, we're going to have an exclusive Turley Talks live Q&A after the event. So if you're one of the first 150 people to sign up for the Houston event, then you're going to be invited to hang out with me and my team that Saturday night. We're going to have a great time. You can ask your questions at the live Q&A. You can get a photo with me. And we can discuss the future of this nation with fellow like-minded patriots. So hurry up. Get your tickets right now because these spots are quite limited. Click on the link below and register to join me, Donald Trump Jr., and other amazing patriots in Houston on January 29th. Can't wait. To see you there. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. The Biden presidency is in an absolute free fall. That's not hyperbole. One year into the charade, the public has turned on Biden in a manner that's totally unprecedented in American politics. Look at this polling coming from civics. Now, this is a breakdown of Biden's approval numbers state by state. Right now, as we speak, Biden is above water. That is, his approval ratings outweigh his disapproval ratings in only four states, Hawaii, Maryland, Massachusetts, and Vermont. Even here in his home state of Delaware, where I am, even here, he's underwater. He's only at a 33% approval rating in Delaware. Despite those four insane deep blue leftoid states, Biden is underwater literally everywhere. In Joe Manchin's West Virginia, he has an 18% approval rating. Now you know why Manchin is voting the way he's voting. The latest Trafalgar poll, remember Trafalgar being one of the more accurate pollsters out there, their latest has Biden at just 38.7% approval. By the way, that includes 10% of self-described Republicans who approve of my I wonder who these Republicans are. And just when you thought things couldn't get worse, Trafalgar delivered some Real bad news to the Brandon regime. Republicans now have surged to a 13-point lead on the generic ballot. That re represents the highest lead ever for the GOP, higher than what we saw in the polling just before the Gingrich Revolution 1994, higher than the massive congressional landslides in 2010 and again in 2014. Now, this is currently being coupled with a Senate election model that spells disaster for the Democrats. The election model notes that Democrats have virtually no chance of holding the Senate if Biden falls to 42% aggregate approval. And right now, Biden is at 41.6% aggregate approval and falling. So things just go from bad to worse here for the Democrats. Now, I do think that it's very important to recognize that this free fall for Biden has been going on for some time now. And interestingly, it did not begin with Afghanistan. We, we actually first saw official signs of Brandon's implosion beginning with his first hundred days in office. Don't forget that an ABC Washington Post poll found that Brandon's approval rating at the hundred day mark of his presidency was, quote, the third lowest since tracking began in 1945. In fact, I would argue that the degeneracy of his presidency obviously didn't even begin with that. It began on January 20th with that inauguration that nobody attended. Do you remember that? Only about 2,000 people actually showed up to that fiasco that swore in a dithering old man that shouldn't even be driving a car. Biden's imploding polls are just indicative of the degeneracy of his regime really from its very beginning. The only difference is that the disaster that is our nation at the moment has become evident to quite literally everyone. Everyone is feeling the constraining effects of inflation. Everyone is seeing the absurdity 
of Biden's regime's uh, COVID response. Everyone recognizes the insanity happening at our southern border. All the while, we are obsessed more than ever with protecting Ukraine's border, for heaven's sakes. Everyone is seeing this. The question now is simply, how do you respond to it? Right? What are we going to do about it? Well, if you're an increasing number of Democrats, <laughs> you're leaving the party. I mean, that's what's happening. You're, you're, you're fleeing the sinking ship. The latest defections coming from North Las Vegas Mayor John Lee. He's switching to the Republican Party because, in his words, he can no longer stand with an elitist socialist party like the Democrats. And as such, he's joining an increasingly long line of once fellow Democrats exiting the Democrat Party. For other Democrats, rather than switch parties, well, frankly, they're just retiring. We are now at 28 congressional Democrat retirements and counting. It will most likely double. There's no better sign of an impending electoral disaster than seeing these rats, these demo rats, fleeing the sinking ship in droves. Still others, like those in the mainstream media, well, they're resorting to a different tack. They are not so subtly telling Biden he needs to step down. I mean, it's no coincidence that we're seeing a number of articles written of late in leftist standard bearers like the Washington Post and New York Times openly speculating that Biden will not run for re-election in 2024. In fact, leftist pundits openly question whether Biden will run again is now commonplace throughout the mainstream media. Even the ultra leftists at CNN are openly discussing the possibility of a Harris Buttigieg ticket for 2024. And what we need to get in all of this, the key to understanding these articles, I would argue, is that they only appear to be speculative. They actually, in reality, are prescriptive. These articles are not speculative. They are prescriptive. Make no mistake. These articles are not mere considerations of Biden dropping out of the 2024 race. They are definite recommendations that he do so. The globalist political class is beginning to panic over the growing mass uprising against Brandon's incompetence and with the midterms on the horizon and the total complete collapse of the Biden agenda in the Senate, they're recognizing the bell is tolling and their days in power are coming to a rather shocking end. So butter the popcorn gang, 2022 is starting off as a complete and total disaster for bumbling Biden and the Dems. And as things stand, things promise to get even worse for them in the months ahead. Now, before we go, you will definitely want to check out my latest video. You're going to love this one. I just uploaded it. It's on how the GOP is opening 2022 with a massive election integrity blitz all across the country. You're going to absolutely love it. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. God bless.